let us get down to business uh thank you very much for Shozi store getting me this this figure the Wei Jang black apple optimus prime oversized version of mpm 04 now so, i'm seeing red box unlabeled Wei Jang black apple optimus prime Anyone who's had this figure previously will see that this thing is the same exact box without any labeling. Which, of course, you know, for us goofballs, we are thinking that it is Wei Jang. It is Black Apple. Obviously, that is most likely the case. Oh, barring any verbal... Mods to what it is. So, blister pack is the same exact thing. I will take this out of the case and uh, go from there. The figure, the two Energon blades, the uh, Matrix face, and the two weapons. Hopefully, you guys did not sleep on this. I believe once again there are additional numbers at Shozy Store available for purchase okay so I will be right back I don't recall a lot of these you know, retail style thing with jigs anchors on the packaging I think it was just tape for the original packaging anyways I got all of those cut off got the figure right there uh, let's get down to the manual let's see if it's any different and then the original uh, I don't know if the front page was or was not but I just know that you get a full color manual which is awesome amazing in you know you're getting a full retail experience full color the um, instructions are just as detailed just as non uh, obscure as um, versus the other products that, you, that we get out there everything's detailed I'm not going to transform this because we have a million transformation videos for this figure out there I will however get down to comparison of the repurpose re um, issue versus the original original oh, not, not, this is the reissue you can see the blue nose there um, and you can see the more uh, silver accents on the chest bits there so let's get down to business I did not take anything off and uh, you can see here he's got a little bit of plastic hair fur on the figure I'm going to leave that there I'm not going to recolor this figure at all I have silver uh, markers I'm not going to recolor the nose because I'm going to keep it um, as is so that the figures are um, unique to each other. Let's get down to comparison. So out of the box the lights are pointing downwards um, and that's the only thing. Uh, there you go. As you can see, you know, out of the box, this this is the height. This is the original height, the OG height for this figure out of the box. This was the uh, altered height to match uh, three zeros DLX Optimus Prime. And as you can see, if that's the intended height, uh, they are virtually the same height. Nothing different at all. Okay, I'm going to see how much, let's see, go ahead and put the original back in the background. Uh, the reissue in the foreground. So I'm going to look here. The one thing I noticed, of course, uh, on the original, his uh, crotch, his, his uh, aging, weathering, was always uh, lopsided. It was always on one half, uh, on his right half. So you can see there it's on his right half is aging right this one is even his uh thigh aging weathering is the same 
even modeling stippling effect on the same um, and let us get down to actual articulation so okay let's see as you can see um, my truck visors are not stiff however I can say that to me um, seem to be the same as the original not st stiff at all they are a, uh, a transparent translucent plastic that is painted chrome that's exactly the same everything looks the same I'll have to dissect the inner windows Let's see if they're the same uh, they look the same as well nothing missing I'll have to check and see about I think the back panel so let's go ahead and do that in a bit otherwise uh, everything is the same yep, everything is exactly the same I can't tell any this year chroming on this figure versus the original hands are the same back for the most part is the same okay all right let's get down to articulation and then dig into that back panel and see if that back panel is missing a segment of plastic all right so head standard mine was not let's see if it has popped out it is popped out a little bit i will fix that later yep that whole thing that everyone experiences the uh, head popped off so not a big issue soft ratchet in the shoulders I hope that everyone was able to get this copy if you were not able to get their first run second run you know, original run of this copy of this figure you got uh, you were able to get this um, third run third party run of this figure this is the epitome of third party TF figures that you could get on the market this thing is stiff up here probably jammed up behind the headlights I'll get that loosened up waste bits and okay. after scrutinizing both of these figures um, so we can see that the, the, the main figure itself is uh, basically identical um, again they have these uh, little accents that are slightly different they're more silver here OG is dark black the um, let's see here no copper or faint copper here for the rings here but it's more apparent here there is more hip stippling on the reissue and that is basically all that there is um, once again putting in that shock oil you get a lot more freedom of movement this is smooth you can hear you don't hear anything right it's just movement the shock oil or the reissue stiff slippy but does move what else so also you can see that there is a difference in the face silvering uh, this guy's blue eyes are more apparent than this guy's the silver is 
uh, much brighter on this one than this one uh, so even if this guy has a battle mask on this one doesn't this one is much duller brighter on the OG what else uh, I think that's about it I am not comparing weapons because even if the weapons are different uh, it is what it is the uh, tempo the effects are the same brighter yellow on the OG duller on the reissue for every bit a foot it's duller slightly so I, I actually like that, that it is different because then we know uh, we have the different issues three issues of the figures that little missing piece, uh, plastic piece in the back um, not too much of an issue but we do see that the um, plastic sprue marks or sprue bits this one I don't even know what this is this is look at that that's uh, paper yeah that's paper look at that okay but uh, there are more sprue marks on the reissue they did not clean up as in the original and I'll show you here there are a lot of uh, underneath bits but I'm not going to go into that I will however go into the bits that we can see so what was it okay. so here's the arm bits here there it's very minor on here so every sprue bit that we see on the original the reissue has more prominent uh, sprue bits and that's about it so once again that's all for me for now uh, hopefully you guys got a uh, rendition a copy of uh, black apples edition of mpm04 uh, this one of course is produced by wei jang reissue is produced by someone that we don't know who made them but hopefully you guys did get your own copy of this figure it's a great figure reissue is just missing little bits here and there otherwise still great yep uh, that's all for me for now later bye Plastic fairy hair. Going to leave that there.